new bison 8308 ranger here at Haylet rv of Coldwater, michigan and uh, this is a very nice affordable living quarter but it's it's you know it's not one of these that has just this tiny weekender living quarter you can't use this is a good working man's trailer and, I, and i'll dig into that a little more as we go there's a lot of really nice touches I like here, and uh, I think uh, it's a reflection of the fact that Bison has recently just invested a lot of money in their facilities, and they've really, really worked hard to update and uh, you know uh, their facilities and have the best tools and things available. Like we're seeing nicer things now. Like again, this is a good rank and file, good soldier model, but you see we have a full power awning, push button easy power awning that we've added on here with this full LED light strip. Now some stuff like this power awning you're seeing here, these are not standards. Uh, these are things that we have, Halets have added into this trailer. So keep in mind, the actual unit we have in stock might vary slightly from what you see here, but in general, this will give you a good idea. But again, some of that detail work I was, I was mentioning, they've fully enclosed the underside of this gooseneck here. You're not gonna have problems with birds building nests and whatnot under here anymore. You know, there's a lot of nice details like that. Uh, the Venos right there is going to help you make sharp turns and cut the wind a little easier going down the road. This is 8 foot wide. This is 7, 6 tall. Um, all Bison living quarters are standard 7, 6 tall, which is nice. You're not paying extra for that. Like you can see up here on the roof line how they've rolled the aluminum uh, skin over so that you don't have a seam right up at that corner. That's a leak potential that they've eliminated. Uh, this is a slide out model. The slide that we've added here is a big, nice, full depth, um, roughly 36 inch deep dinette slide. And it's basically going to double the space of your living quarter. And you notice we've protected the investment with this slide out awning topper here. That's going to keep uh, the worst of the dust and the debris and the dirt from collecting on top of that slide. And all that dirt, if you don't clean it, which most people don't climb up on their slides and clean them when they run them in, um, you know, that would build up and, and cause potential seal damage. Now notice all three stalls have drop down feeder windows, including the one here in the escape door. They don't cut that corner at Bison. That's a nice thing to see. Um, the, uh, this being an eight wide with mangers, we do have manger tack or storage or whatever word you prefer to use on it. So you do have a very generously sized space down here with a lot of storage that you can utilize. Also, if you're not really tall like me, you're going to love the fact that these have these really easily uh, uh, managed uh, feeder windows. It's just an easy to reach handle. A lot of feeder windows I've noticed have a latch way up here. And for a tall guy like me, that's fine. But what I've noticed being in the horse trailer business is most of the time uh, the horse trailer isn't really about um, the cowboy so much as the cowgirl. And most of the time she's a little bit shorter than me. So having uh, easier access handles like that is far easier. Um, the uh, swinging barn doors here instead of a ramp. I've never seen a horse that wouldn't take a step up. I have seen some that just don't like a ramp. Every horse is different and you'll know your horse better. The biggest thing is obviously just the trust between horse and rider. But we do have a fully collapsible rear closet tack here. Um, the saddle tree is aluminum. The uh, panels can be folded back and out of the way. So if you need to load big stuff in here, you can do that. There's just a spring load at the top and bottom of this to kind of maneuver it around. Uh, butt side windows and tail curtain or pardon me tail windows here all open for ventilation and they do all have the safety gate guards on there which is nice uh, you see here that we do have padded dividers so I'm gonna sneak under the butt bar here real quick um, now one thing I like to show people is uh, here here's a good example look at the welds on this I mean they really go pretty heavy duty on their welds this this trailer again it's a rank-and-file good soldier it's built to last you know, it's not built to make you go broke. It's built to be very functional, very functional and long lasting. Uh, also, I like the easy little one hand operated gates. You know, there there might be a little bit noisy, but again, the trust between horse and rider is the big factor there. Even uh, padding on the chest area here. I've seen a lot of manufacturers skimp on that. Uh, another upgrade we tend to put in these, so always double check, but the finished line and insulated ceiling. And that's even back here in the horse area. That's going to persist all the way through the living quarters. So that will help with uh, just temperature control for your animals going down the road. Uh, we do like to put the stud curtain on these in case, you know, you either, some horses are just a little bit gnarly when you get them loaded up. And if you only have two horses, it gives you the perfect place to put all your extra stuff and bales and stuff like that up here. Um, we do like to put a pass-through door on these for quick bathroom access. And uh, one thing I do like to point out, again, this is a kind of what I call a rank and file trailer, but 
a nice porcelain stool. And what you're seeing there is uh, the parent company behind Bison is actually the world's largest producer of towable RVs. Um, the uh, well, towable and motorized actually. So you're, you're seeing some of the things that the RV side of the ownership has learned and brought over into horse trailers and nicer stuff like a porcelain stool instead of plastic is just one of those many examples. Um, extra storage pocket here behind the stool is nice and if you notice there actually is a little hanging closet up there. Uh, you know the, the nicer um, all hardwood door inserts. This thing is you can work this trailer over and it will work you back. That's what I like about it. Uh, the uh, 8308, when you go to that eight foot short wall, you can you have the room for a nice shower like this. You actually have room to get in here. Uh, you know, it's, it's enough for one person to get in, get rinsed off, and head out to your next event. And check out the size of this closet here. This is some serious space. To give you an idea, this goes up past my elbow. That's serious storage. So it's hanging storage up here. It continues down in the lower cabinet for just general shelf storage and easy access to the water heater with a quick bypass kit on it. So it's easier to bypass for winter time. That's awesome. Let's step up into the air, uh, living space here. One of the first things you'll notice, lots of big open uh, space here. You're not gonna trip over one another. The dinette can fold down into a sleeper if need be. Notice that all of your windows open for ventilation. You can get some good ventilation in here. And again, it, this is more of a starter point trailer from Bison, but the touches, the, I mean, the fit and the finish on, like, your window trim is awesome. You know, they, they don't skimp on stuff. You have nicer pleated shades here, not metal cheap shades. We have all LED lights, so you're not going to worry about replacing incandescent bulbs. Um, again, this is 7'6 tall, so we do have more headroom here in the, uh, you know, the gooseneck bunk. You're not going to bash each other's head. This is another upgrade we've put in. We've centralized the air conditioner. Again, always double check the options list on the one you're taking home, but stuff like that we almost always put in our trailers because you really want it and you really need it up there. Extra power outlets on both sides of the bed up here. Notice where they're located. They're located right next to your head. So this right here is the perfect spot to charge a phone or maybe bring along your CPAP machine or an alarm clock. This trailer does it all. Um, for entertainment purposes, this is all wired for a TV up here. No TV included with this model in this video as it's equipped, but we did upgrade your entertainment system. What we found is that for the cost of going to Walmart, basically, and adding a TV, it's cheaper than getting it from the factory. So what we do is we upgrade your entertainment center. This is an all-in-one AM, FM, CD, DVD player with outside speakers and a Bluetooth function. You can hook your phone up to it wirelessly, keep your phone in your pocket, and be something like 30 yards away and it'll still connect. It's awesome. Again, look at the fit and finish on the cabinetry. These corner cuts, um, I've noticed, are a really good indicator of how much time and attention they pay in the factory. And I've got light shining right on this. If there was any gap in this, any fault, failure, defect whatsoever, you would see it instantly. You can see right there that everything fits well. And who doesn't like those little uh, <laughs> buffalo nickels, basically? Um, easy, like I said, easy access power awning and slide out controls. Everything's in one spot. Everything's easy to reach. Um, the uh, countertop over here, same fit and finish I've showed you everywhere else. We do have a nice fridge below, a couple drawers. This is something a lot of living quarters don't have is a space for any kind of silverware or anything like that. Um, you know, microwave and vented hood above here, but also... Uh, we do have good storage space, and I put a couple sheets of paper in here to give you an idea of size and scale, so you know how big that is. But notice if you are cooking, they do leave a vent here, so you can actually turn on both that fan and that vent and get some really nice airflow going in this trailer. And there's a lot more to get into that I haven't really touched yet, so don't hesitate to give us a call, learn a little bit more about Bison Trailers or Halots if you're not familiar. 800-256-51. 96. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy trails.